Hello everyone, this is Clavin Fernandez. I'm the support manager for Mohimbi. Over the years, I have been writing blogs and helping Power users adapt the Power Platform, mainly Microsoft Flow, Power Apps and other related technologies. In this blog post, we will discuss on ways how to archive emails to PDF using Power Automate or you can call it Microsoft Flow. Email communication is usually believed to be the lifeline of every business but managing email archiving is a bit tricky and it can also be time consuming. In this blog we will automate the process of archiving emails including attachments to PDF and then we will store them in SharePoint online. So without wasting any further time, let's start in creating a flow. For this demo, we will create an automated flow in which when a user gets an email, the flow will automatically convert it into a PDF and then write the file back into SharePoint. So for this, we will use our flow a sensible name. So we will use a, when a new email arrives trigger. So when a new email arrives in the inbox, we will go ahead and convert it into PDF. Now we need to make sure that we set this to yes and also to include attachments as yes because we need to convert the attachments as well into the PDF. Once this is done, let's add another action. The action would be to export the email. So this action needs the message ID. The message ID can be found as an output of our trigger. So this is a unique identifier of the message. Next we will go ahead and add our convert action. This is where the real magic happens. So the convert action actually needs few parameters. Now it needs the source file name. So for the purpose of this demo, let's consider the name to be test.eml as it's an EML file. Next, the source file content. The source file content can be found as an output of the export email in the body. Next, we will use the create file action from SharePoint. So let's search for SharePoint and then let's add the create file action. Now I will write this file into a SharePoint library in one of our existing site collection. The folder path would be the documents folder. The name of the file would be again dashed archive will dot PDF. The next step would be to go ahead and pass the file content. The file content will be the output of the convert action, processed file content, that is the content generated by Mohembi. So now I think that's it. Let's save our flow and it's time to test our flow. So to test our flow, we need to create an email and send it to the user. Go ahead and create a new message. So the user I'm using is a test user. So the email address would be this. Let's do a subject. This is for testing the archival, if I can spell it right. I think I still did not spell it right, but that's fine. So the next would be to add a message body. This is a message body then some text let's add some random text out here now we'll go ahead and add the attachments so let's browse for the attachments so I'll be adding two attachments out here and I'll hit open if you see out here our flow has already been triggered and our convert action is in the process the next would be the flow will automatically go ahead and create the file. So let's wait. So here we have the flow completed. Now it's time to see our converted PDF. So here we have a file created in SharePoint. So let's click on the file and open the file with the message body and some random text that we added and then we have an admin guide which we attached as a Word document and if you scroll straight down you'll see that we have 
our Excel file as well. This is a quick and easy way to archive documents or you can say emails as PDF using Mohimbi Converter for SharePoint Online. Now what if we don't want the attachments to be merged at the end of the document but we want them to be converted as PDF and have them attached or in some scenarios you can say that attach the PDF in an original format. Can that be done? Yes, indeed, that can also be done in Mohimbi. So Mohimbi indeed provides these options. If you look at Mohimbi Converter, the default option is to be merged. That is, merge the attachments to the converted email to PDF. But we can also attach it as a PDF or attach it as an original file. So if you are looking at my screen, you'll see that there's an override. This override can be found at the Mohimbi blog. However, in the whole override, we are just interested in how the attachments are being handled. So this key would be the key for our demo. So without wasting any further time, let me just go ahead and change this to attach as PDF, copy the override and navigate back to our flow. On the flow screen, let us edit our flow and now we'll go ahead and add the XML override that I just copied. In the convert action, you'll find an option to specify the override. I'll just paste it out here. We do not need to change anything for this demo. Let's just change the file name to embedded, embed PDF and let's save our flow and click on test using previous data and our flow completes successfully. So let's go back to our SharePoint Online. So in our SharePoint Online, you'll see that a new file is being created named as embed as PDF. So if you see out here, we just have a single page PDF out here. So let's download it and see if the PDFs are being embedded. So when I launch it using the client PDF application, I see that a PDF indeed has got two attachments. That is the PDFs are being converted or I can say that the attachments are being converted into PDF and being embedded into the PDF. The first as you see is the PDF of the admin guide and the second one is our Excel file which is just testing, testing and testing. So let's further modify our flow and try to embed the files in their original format. As we did before, we see that the attachment merge mode can also be set to attach to original. So let's quickly change it out here. I'm going to provide the override in the example or even in the description section for the video below and navigate back to our flow. So let's edit our flow, remove the XML override and put in the next override. So I'll just change the name out here, attach as original and keep the rest the same. I'll save the flow and test the flow again. So within few seconds our flow completes. Let's get back and check our SharePoint Online document library. So as I refresh my page, I see that we have an attach original document. I click on it and I see that we have a single page document. Let's download it onto the client system and open it using the client application. So here I see that we have a document or a PDF with documents embedded in the original format. When I click on the document, it tells me to download the document. The same happens with Excel. So let's quickly go ahead and save the Excel and open it. So here we have the Excel file in the original format. So using Mohimbi, we can go ahead and automate our flows or use Microsoft Power Automate to go ahead and convert and archive emails as PDF and it also provides as an option to merge the attachments at the bottom of the email or embed it as PDFs within the email or even attach it in the original format. I hope that this tutorial was informative to you and thank you for listening.